Today we're looking at Psalm 38. Psalm 38 has no high moments, no text that you can take out, add a lovely picture, frame and place on your living room wall. Instead, it's full of guilt, sin, remorse and regret and the fear of God's discipline, anger and wrath. There are two key thoughts I'd like to leave with us today. Firstly, this is the Old Testament. This therefore is not the whole picture. There is something missing. Actually, David the psalm writer does understand what is missing and the cry of his heart right at the very end of the psalm, verse 22, is come quickly to help me, O Lord, my saviour. In the presence of guilt, sin, remorse and regret, we need a saviour. Praise God that in our need, he has given us a saviour. Paul states, Romans 5 verse 6, when we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Praise God we live in New Testament times and can embrace the good news of the gospel of God's grace. Christ has dealt with our sin, regret, remorse, and he's lifted our guilt by taking our rightful punishment upon himself and thereby satisfying God's anger and wrath. The second key thought is this, that Psalm 38 expresses how it is for those that don't know Christ they still carry the burden of their guilt, sin, remorse and regret. As a church, let's be praying for those of our friends, family, neighbours and work colleagues that don't yet know Christ. These unprecedented days are ideal days for the gospel to spread. Pray that they may seek him, reach out and find him. Pray that out of lockdown, there'll be a great influx for the church of those souls whose hearts have been, been infected by the love of Jesus and who know that their guilt, sin, remorse and regret have been fully dealt with by a loving God who gave Jesus for them. Amen.